right back. There is number six to mark Marcus Brennis. And Richie Schlentz, one of the best left backs in the conference. The insertion to Connor Bradley, who's getting the start. There with Louis Yule as well. It's Luca Perpa, and it's right off the fingertips of Carson Williams. And they say it trickles wide, actually, as it will be a goal kick. In the blue with Varun Rugerpathy, I'm Nick Montagna. Great to have your company here at Higgins Soccer Complex. It's been a bit of back and forth so far. Both teams searching for three points as a, another save by Carson Williams on a big direct shot right at the keeper from Texas for year mm -hmm. on all but crosses. They've done it against Villanova before as Connor Alba has had success against Villanova. There's the header, there's the save by Carson Williams as it was Josh Hancock. He's the center half filling in today because of Leo compared to the previous year when they did get the big results against Boston College and Creighton. Mm -hmm. Just funny how that works sometimes. So they've reset it the last couple of years. Oh. oh, what a save by Carson Williams oh. as the cross was in there. A lovely job by Lucas Sunison to direct it. But it will be Marcus Brennis, the free kick master, and it's knocked down in front of the goal as Shamsuddin was looking for the putback as Pat Segras helped defend there on the goal line as Villanova tried to redirect the corner and Josh Cohen just dazzled. One goal and two assists all time against over for Connor Alba here in the area. Here he is for Marquette, and he's done it yet again against Villanova. Connor Alba has killed Villanova through the years, and another big time opportunity for the Chicago Fire Kid is a major fire blast there against Villanova's impenetrable defense. And the Wildcats home shutout streak comes to a halt. The first home goal allowed by Villanova this season. And with and that's what they will do. The Golden Eagles soar to three points today over Villanova. A one to nil final for the Golden Eagles as Louis Bennett's squad comes to Higgins and gains their sixth win of the year to climb back to 500 and up the table in the Big East.